Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday here. We uh, worked at trying to get the 7030 going last night, and uh, it is, appears that the injection pump on it took a crap on us. So uh, this morning we are going to get the 7030 moved up to the concrete, so then we can uh, tear it apart and uh, get the injection pump off. Uh, so. That leaves us with one tractor for hay season right now. So I'm gonna get the 1070 unhooked from the baler. So then we can pull the 7030 up to the concrete, hook onto the rake. We'll then rake everything that is here, everything that's down on the waterway on the east side. And what's little bit is on Wes's down there. And then we'll move to bits, rake everything there and then uh, we're gonna chain up the rake and get it back over to the shop uh, with a truck. We're gonna drive the 1070 back over here, hook onto the baler and then bail everything up. We do have a pretty good rain chance for uh, later this afternoon into evening. Uh, so it is crunch time, especially with one tractor, it's gonna slow production down for us. If we had two tractors, well, we could be raking and bailing at the same time. It wouldn't be no biggie.
there's a couple green spots in this nothing that's going to hurt anything so i'm going to run down to bits and look at that and if if it is still green or i think it's green in places we may change it up and maybe i'll lock this rake up and i might drag it down there while you start bailing here i don't know i'm gonna go look at it so don't take off too far before i either get back or you hear from me got all of 56 waterways uh, raked up and what little bit is on Wes's I'm just waiting to hear back from my dad here see what bits is like uh, whether I should be heading down there with the tractor or rake or we're gonna pin it up and uh, haul it down there with the truck and I'll uh, start bailing so we'll see what dad says here Right, I'm running down the road again headed back to Jake uh, got some fescue down there in places and it's pretty heavy it uh, is pretty green yet so I think we're gonna leave it lay gonna unhook the rake and get on to the baler at the 56 and get to baling hay over there I believe so back down the road we still go all right I got the rake on my truck I will take it down to bits here in a bit Jake's coming with the tractor Gonna get hooked onto the baler, get uh, to baling the hay left here at the 56 acres. Alright, got a tire on this rake over here it goes soft slowly I'm gonna air it up we got the portable air compressor in the back of Jake's truck so I want to do that before I go down the road with it project that I haven't got to yet I want to make some supports like this this is gonna come off I'm gonna do a different one and make a latch so I can actually swing up here and latch this thing and keep it up like this but meanwhile uh, got a chain boomer on here and obviously I need to do something different with the chain that ain't gonna work I don't want to drag chain all down the road so I have to do something a little different with it Originally this rake had a piece of pipe right here and a hole through that and you put a pin through there to keep it up uh, We did the chain and stuff as uh, extra insurance because those pipes the piece of pipe Tends to rip off of there as you can see over here has happened and that one's gone But Anyway, that's what's up with this thing Yeah, down here at Bits, I uh, wanted to check on my cows. Hadn't got their mineral feeder back to them yet. So I brought it back. Got some blocks in there for them. Do a head count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12. And two babies. Looks like they're all here. Yep, 12 big ones and two babies. They've been on pasture down here for a little while now. Ain't got things stromped down much in here. This is where I usually have a lot to catch them, but so it's kind of growed up in weeds. They like their mineral blocks. And number 19 here, she's bagging up. This will be her first calf, I believe, if I remember right. Looks like she's gonna have a calf. Hope she does all right down here in pasture by herself. Unfortunately, with her being away from home, I won't be here close by to be able to keep a close eye on her if she has a calf, which looks like she's going to here. When I brought them down to pasture, well, there wasn't any of them having any signs of having a calf, but I'm glad to see another one gonna have a calf for me, I think. back down here at the tractor blew a hydraulic remote line on the tractor here so I'm gonna get it pulled off of here and get to town and get this uh, this line made so then we can get going they've backed the rain off to eight to nine o'clock supposedly so That was relatively quick work, so now we'll go to town and get another one made. All right, we're back from our trip from town. Stopped by our local O'Reilly's and picked up a hose. I had one made anyways. So now it's time to get it onto the tractor so then we can get going again.
we got the tractor and baler back to the house. We got the point back onto the 1070. The hay trailer is back onto my truck or on my truck. And we're gonna head down to bits where we just rolled up six and we're gonna place them on that hay trailer and then grab the one bale of last year's hay down there and then take it up to my mom and dad's, the farm there. And uh, at least that will be done. Uh, we're at the point where rain showers could be coming. So it's uh, try to stay uh, productive and pick what we want to do here. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to do the 7030 and the 4010. So at this point, we figured that it'd be better just to haul hay. So that's what we're going to do. This is Sunday afternoon now. Uh, I wanted to get some hay hauled, so behind me I'm off over here at the uh, rock house. I've got the tractor and I brought the hay trailer with me uh, down here on the south hay field. Looks like I got six bales down here, so I'll load all them on the hay trailer and that will get them off down here. This is uh, farther away from up on the hill i've got all the hay up there yet that i need to get off of the hay field too i'm gonna see how much of this i can get moved today uh, i got 
uh, hay over here on the waterways that we just finished up this weekend too. I'm gonna try to get a lot of this off if I can. Uh, getting this done earlier this year and it's greening up so I don't want the bale sitting here and making dead spots. So that's what I'm up to this afternoon. Six all came off of the south uh, hay field here on Gans. And I'm going to move over to the 56 acres and start working on some of these the farthest away on the waterways. Get them hauled up at the hill and get them off on the concrete up on the hill. bales from out here east on top of the hill moved in here on the concrete I got uh, 14 bales from there changed up the plans a little bit I uh, decided I want to get them off and not worry about the waterway the waterway was put up uh, after the hill up here so the hill was greening up a lot more I wanted to get them off so I'll see what else I got now So the waterway on 56, all the waterways on the 56, uh, we got nine bales in this little three footer here behind me. I got my hay trailer down there loaded up. Think what I'm gonna do, I got four bales out front and then them two down there towards the hay trailer. There's two off over there by themselves. 
I think I'm going to take those two and add them to the ones in front to make a load of six out there. And the two down there, I won't worry too much about until we do uh, the backfield and Wesson on hay. So I think that's what I'll do at this point. Head back to the house now. That's going to do it for this weekend. I'm going to call it a day today. It's time to change clothes and head back to church for this evening. And, uh, well, appreciate all of you watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you would. That helps out. And uh, we appreciate the, those of you that are uh, watching and keep watching our uh, channel. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one.